Hello students, welcome back. I am teacher Whitney and I will be teaching for class 1 Maths. I hope students all of you are taking good care of yourself and also washing your hands regularly. In the previous Maths video, students you learned something about numbers and what is it? It is the family of ones. Now in the family of ones we have numbers from 0 to 9. So let's take a recap. Let's count these stars. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now students, you know we don't add 10 in the family of 1's because 10 is belonging to the family of so students, you must be wondering what are we going to learn in today's video? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. I'm sure all of you love animals and also you love listening to stories. And now I'm going to narrate to you a short story on an animal. And the name of the animal is a monkey. I hope all of you have seen a monkey. So now, here is a short story on a monkey and I want you to listen carefully. This poor little monkey was very hungry. Now students, when we are hungry, what do we do? We want to eat something. Because if we don't eat, we feel restless. We want to eat something because we are very hungry. In the same way, this poor little monkey was looking out for food everywhere. And as he was looking out for food, he suddenly sees a tree with many fruits. Yes, he sees a fruit bearing tree. So what does he do? From his tree, he jumps from one tree to the other tree. Now he is almost close to the tree. So he once again jumps from this tree to another tree. And now he is very happy because he is finally, finally going to reach the tree with many fruits. So from this tree, he reaches to this tree. And now he is very happy because he is getting a lot of fruits to eat. So he waits there on the tree. He eats as many fruits as he wants till he is very happy. Now the man monkey wants to come back to his tree. So what does he do? As he went back jumping and swinging through the trees, he will come back to his tree. So after he finished eating his mangoes or his fruits, he jumps from that tree to this tree again, then to this tree again and finally he comes back to his own tree. So students, if you have noticed carefully, you can see that the monkey was first or initially on the tree number one then he moves to tree number two then to tree number three and finally the fourth tree where he found all the fruits so students when you see that we are moving from a smaller number to a bigger number or when they count from a smaller number to a bigger number, we call it as forward counting. I repeat, when we count from a smaller number to a bigger number. In this case, 1 is the smaller number and 4 is the bigger number. So when we count from a smaller number to a bigger number, we call it as forward counting. This was when the monkey went from his tree to this fruit bearing tree. Now after he ate his fruits, the monkey came back to its own tree. And how did that happen? The monkey went from tree number 4 to tree number 3, then again to tree number 2. And finally, he came to tree number 1. So students, when we count from a bigger number, that is in this case, which is 4, when we count from 
a bigger number to a smaller number we call it as backward counting as you can see the sign which is facing backwards your thumb is facing backwards so in the same way the monkey from the last tree that is tree number 4 comes to 3 then 2 and then 1 so this sequence of counting is called as backward counting now let's move on to some more examples Students, I'm sure all of you have seen a honeybee. What does a honeybee give us? Yes, you're right. It's honey. And how does a honeybee produce honey? What does it do? It goes to different flowers. And what does it do from there? It sucks nectar out of these flowers. It moves from one flower to the next flower. Next flower. And this way it goes to different flowers to suck nectar. And with the help of this nectar, a honeybee produces honey. Now students, did you notice the movement of these honeybee? It moved from flower number 1 to flower number 2, then to 3, then to 4 and finally the fifth flower. Students, now can you look at these signs and identify which method or which example was shown to you over here in this with the honeybee and the flowers? Can you guess? Yes, it is the forward counting. As I told you in forward counting we move from a smaller number to a bigger number. So in this case the honeybee moved from flower number 1 to 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this was forward counting. Now let's take another example. Students, now for example, say these are all of your friends and all of you are playing in a park and suddenly one of your friend sees can see these steps and he wants to climb up these steps so what does he do he runs and goes near the steps now he wants to reach up here so what do you have to do students if you have to reach up here you have to climb the steps so your friend he steps on the step number one then slowly he moves to step number two. Then he moves to step number three. He is now on step number three. Now he has to reach on step number eight. So he has to continue climbing the steps. Next, step number four. Step number five. Six. Seven, and finally 8 so from step number 1 he has reached to step number 8 now from the top you can see all his friends are playing so he wants to come down again so what does he have to do he has to again climb down from step number 8 to step number 1 so again he comes down from 8 to 7 to 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and finally he is back on step number 1. Now, students here as you can see this boy moved from step number 1 to step number 8. So what do you think is this counting called when he moves from step number 1 to step number 8 it is called as forward counting and from step number 8 he came back down to step number 1 and what is this kind of counting called it is called as backward counting So then he was finally back again playing with his friends. 
So students in this example you have seen the forward counting and also we try to figure out how it would be if it had if we were counting in the backward direction. Here this boy moved from step number 1 to step number 8 that is forward counting and then as he was coming down from step number 8 to step number 1 it is called as backward counting because from smaller to bigger number it is forward counting and from bigger number to a smaller number it is backward counting. Now we will take another example. Students, what do you see here? You see here a giant caterpillar, a massive, a big one. You can see a big caterpillar. And what do you see on this caterpillar? You can see two numbers. Number 1 and number 10. Now, you know there are some numbers missing here. We are going to fill in these numbers using backward counting. Here we are going to use backward counting counting. So by now students you know what is backward counting that is counting from a bigger number to a smaller number. So before 10 we have the number 9. Then we have number 8. Then we have number 7. Number 6. Number 5, number 4, number 3, 2 and 1. See we have this caterpillar complete. It is we started from backward counting that is from 10, then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Now this sequence is nothing but backward counting. Now let's count these numbers using forward counting. We'll start from 1 that is a smaller number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is called as forward counting. Now students let's take a recap of whatever we have done today. We have done forward counting and backward counting. When I say forward which means you are pointing forward and when I say backward which means you are pointing behind. In this example we saw that this honeybee moves from flower number 1 to flower number 5 which means moving from a smaller number to a bigger number and if the bee had to start from the flower number 5 it would move from 5, 4, 3, 2 and one that would be a backward counting. Next we took an example of these steps wherein this boy was playing with his friends and then he sees these steps and he wants to climb them. So he moves from step number one to step number eight. So as you move from a smaller number to a bigger number it is called as forward counting and he came back down from number eight to number one that is he came back from a bigger number to a smaller number that is called as the backward counting. And finally, we filled in the missing numbers on this giant caterpillar which had only two numbers, number 1 and number 10. We then filled in these numbers using backward counting. Backward counting means from number 10 to number 1. After we fill this, we again counted these numbers in the form of forward counting. So students, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.